In this video, we'll cover how we can export scalable vector graphics, or SVG files, from SOLIDWORKS Composer and link them together using events. This exportable format is great for creating interactive bill of materials or parts lists and can be viewed in any web browser. Let's take a look at the relevant setup considerations in today's two-minute tech tip. Suppose we want to export an SVG file with an interactive bill of materials for this drone assembly. When the user clicks on the top of the propeller, I'd like it to link to an SVG of an exploded view such as this one. In addition, we also might want to create a way to loop back so that when the user clicks on an actor, image, or icon in the corner here, it'll take us back to the previous SVG. To set this up, we'll first go to the view containing the bill of materials and save out this view as an SVG file, which will serve as just a placeholder for now. To export the SVG, we'll use the Technical Illustration Workshop, where we can also adjust options affecting the visual output, such as whether to include colors and shadows, or adjust the line weights. We'll save this placeholder output to a folder we've created and call the file BOM. After that's exported, we'll head over to our exploded view. The key step here is to link this image to the SVG we just exported, which we'll do by accessing the link field under the event section of the properties. There's a couple ways to establish these links, but for now we'll click the ellipses and browse out for the bomb.svg file we previously created. Now we'll update the view and then save as an SVG called explode. Next we'll go back to the bomb view and assign the exploded view to one of our propellers. We'll select the propeller actor and then scroll down and assign a link to that explode.svg file using the same procedure as before. Now I'll update the view and then save as the SVG taking care to overwrite the previous placeholder bomb.svg we had created. Once this is done, we can browse out to our folder and open either of the files in our web browser of choice. To take a look at the exploded view of the propeller, we can click the propeller and it takes us to the linked exploded view SVG. We can go back to the original view by clicking on the image on the bottom. You can imagine this could be done for every subassembly to build complex documentation. The links also don't need to go to other SVGs necessarily, they could link to different types of media, such as PDFs, videos, or to a specific website. Now I mentioned previously there were a couple different ways to define these links. The method we used so far, of clicking the ellipsis and browsing out for the file, results in an absolute file path, which means that if you move the resulting exports to a different file location, the links will most likely break. An alternative approach is to type in the file names to link to directly. This results in a more portable export, so long as you move the entire folder structure together, the links should be preserved. Additionally, it means we can skip creating any placeholder exports. That being said, using relative file paths like this requires pre-planning a file naming scheme in advance, as well as careful attention to spelling and capitalization. For more information on tips like this, check out our SOLIDWORKS Composer course on Solid Professor which covers everything you need to know about how to import your models, create SOLIDWORKS Composer projects, and publish outputs to a variety of formats. Thanks for watching.